Indian American astronaut Captain Sunita Williams has said that she loves to eat samosas in space. Now she is gearing up to fly into space once again and this time on a brand new spacecraft, the Boeing Starliner. Veteran NASA astronaut Butch Wilmo will be her fellow traveler to fly to the International Space Station or ISS in short. The duo will launch into space from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida, in the first crewed test flight of Starliner. The flight, if it succeeds, will become the second private firm being able to provide crew transport to and from the ISS. The launch is scheduled to take place on 10.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Monday, May 6th, that is May 7th at 8.04 a.m. Indian Standard Time. She says she is a bit nervous but has no butterflies in stomach when she thinks about flying in a new spacecraft. While training at the launch pad, Ms. Williams said, when I reach the International Space Station, it will be like going back home. Born to Dr. Deepak Pandya and Bonnie, the 59-year-old will create history by being the first woman to fly on a maiden mission of a new human-rated spacecraft. A qualified Navy test pilot, she has flown twice to space in 2006 and 2012. NASA's data shows that she has spent a cumulative total of 322 days in space. Once she used to hold the record for maximum spacewalk time by a female astronaut as she has spent 50 hours and 40 minutes across seven spacewalks. NASA says while on board with seven spacewalks totaling 50 hours and 40 minutes, Sunida held the record for total cumulative spacewalk time by a female astronaut. But that has been overtaken by Peggy Bitson with 10 spacewalks. Sunida Williams' father Deepak Pandya was a neuroanatomist born to Julasan in Mersana district of Gujarat, but later migrated to the USA and married Bonnie, a Slovenian. NASA says she is currently preparing to be the pilot of the crew flight test mission aboard uh, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. This is her third mission aboard the International Space Station. She was selected to be an astronaut in 1998 and after the space shuttle was retired in 2015, she was chosen to be part of the select group of astronauts who would fly on NASA's commercial crew program. Ms. Williams had told media that before her flight, she would carry a statue of Lord Ganesha with her on the commercial crew flight as Ganesh is her good luck charm and that she was more spiritual than religious and was happy to have Lord Ganesha with her in outer space. On her earlier flights, she has carried copies of Bhagavad Gita to space. She also said she loved samosa. Among her other passions, she is also a marathon runner and ran a marathon while at the International Space Station. NASA selected SpaceX and Boeing to make new spacecraft that would ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station and SpaceX has been doing this since 2020. The Boeing Starliner has had many delays and is now set for the maiden crewed flight on Tuesday morning. Incidentally, Boeing has been facing many issues with its aircrafts and the company has been mirrored in controversies. Her co-traveler and 61-year-old astronaut Barry Eugene Butch Wilmo is a Navy test pilot who has flown into space twice. Both veterans will be launching on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, Atlas V rocket to the International Space Station. The astronauts will spend about a week at the orbiting laboratory before the crew capsule makes a parachute and airbag assisted landing in the southwestern United States of America, says NASA. During the test flight, the astronaut duo will take the Starliner through a series of tests before NASA certifies it to be fit to fly to space on rational missions to the ISS under the U.S. Space Agency's commercial crew program. Unlike previous U.S. capsules that splashed down in the sea on 
returning to earth the star liner will touch down on land interestingly miss williams was given the opportunity to name the spacecraft she would fly in and she named it calypso after the famous ship on which the french oceanographer and legendary filmmaker jacques yves cousteau explored the oceans when she was still a student sunitha also has a school named after her the sunitha williams elementary school in the town of needam in the usa and if all goes well she will interact with school children from aboard the space station according to boeing the crew space transportation cst 100 starliner spacecraft was designed to accommodate seven passengers or a mix of crew and cargo for missions to low earth orbit it has been in the making for more than a decade and has had many technical hiccups sunitha williams says her days will be packed with fun activities as she is flying a mission to test and certify a new spacecraft she is going to create history as she as she flies in the maiden mission of the new spacecraft which has her fingerprints all over as she has been involved in its development along with boeing and nasa engineers with lord ganesha by her side during her flight to the international space station things are expected to go well